Bikes on the lift, we're getting to work. <laughs> Can't wait. Over here, the CVT showed up. Let me show you guys. Fitting 100%. I got it lined up now because the CVT showed up and it. I can clearly see now that I got tons of room around everything. The chain lines right up, so we're good to go there. Lines up perfect. So I know that that's all going to be good. This isn't the chain I'm going to use. This is a bigger chain, so I know it's I know it's doesn't look right, but <laughs> it'll be okay. It's going to get replaced. So, yeah. And yeah, motor plate showed up. Let's get this pulled out so we can slide that plate in. Slide this chain off of here real quick. I just got my gear mocked up on here. There we go. There we go. Get the chain out of there. Right, see if the motor's gonna sit there until I come over here. <laughs> I don't want it to tip over and fall out of there. Uh. All right. And once again, too, these are awesome because it's all easy to work with and move around. Slide that out of the way. Get my two by two out of there. <laughs> and this is my new motor plate. Big steel motor plate, nice thick steel, so no issues there. And let's see, I think it's gonna go right about here. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna work perfect actually. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's alright, yeah, that's actually really good. Huh. Okay. Almost what I want to do is just get a couple tack welds on up here just so we can kind of look at. No, actually, I guess I can tell now. Yeah, it looks like these tabs are going to be in the way back here. So these original motor mount tabs, need to cut them off. Let me get my grinder and I'll chop them off there real quick. See if we got a good battery in here. And get us a fresh cutoff wheel. Got two. I only one. There we go. Yeah, alright. That's good. All right, let's see if I got another battery over here. If not, I'm going to get one of the charge. Yeah, I got a battery, but it's dead. Let me get that charging. There we go. Okay, good. Charging now. And let's see. I think if I just go straight down and straight back, I think we'll be good. too so it doesn't fall down on my head because <laughs> it is just sitting there 
There we go. And let me just go ahead and move you guys in. Go ahead and tune you guys into the party down here. Show you guys what we're doing. Need some pliers. These will work. <laughs> My crimpers. There we go. Yeah, it's gonna bend out of my way. There we go. Going. And I'm gonna cut straight back now. All right, much better. Smoking. And I need to go down here with this. Right about there. Yeah, it's much better with that tab cut off now. Fits in there perfect. Now I can notch the ends. It'll drop down in between those two pieces of tube, and that's going to work awesome. Be nice and easy to weld in all the way across those two tubes. That's going to be good. So it looks like we just need to notch it. Yeah, we're just going to do a little notch back here. Same thing up front, a little bigger notch. I'm going to go ahead and do this back. Just so we can see exactly how much we need to do on the front there. So we don't cut too much. Make sure I'm going the right way here. This is yeah, it lines up with the bowls there. So I need it like this actually. Yeah, right like that. Okay. So let me notch these back here. And we'll be good. There we go. And I can hear my battery's already going dead. <laughs> the battery grinder works great, but the battery doesn't last. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, a little notch there, it's gonna drop right in, be good. Check this other side real quick. Oh yeah, same, same. oh yeah, it's gonna be perfect. Yes. Okay. Let me grab another battery off my drill up here, see if it's charged. So let's see between these two dead ones if we can get <laughs> this other end notched real quick. <laughs> two half dead batteries. All right, I think we see the same thing on this end. Sweet, we made it. Let's see if that's enough. Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Couple cuts and we're good to go. I think I can probably buzz off this one here too because I may need to slide it over this way just a little bit actually. Or no, actually, it may need to go that way because I'm looking at where this tab was. I had it lined up with the bow hole. It actually might be real good right there. 
Let's go ahead and just buzz this tab off anyway, just because it's kind of in the way. I don't want it to be in the way of the belt drive. Ooh, and this one, actually, might be able to weld it on right here for my kickstand. <laughs> that might work. Sweet. So I need to come over there and cut that tab off so I can get the proper angle on my cutter. Looking good. And I love using the cutoff wheels because the grinding wheels, you can't cut stuff. And the cutting wheels, don't try and grind it off, just cut it off so much quicker. All right, we're looking good. You just drop this in here one more time. Yeah, that's looking real good. It's looking wonderful, actually. I can put a seam weld all the way across the front, all the way across the back. <laughs> Excuse me. All the way across the back and all the way across the front. And the motor's sitting perfectly level. Yes, that's going to be good. Let's just go ahead and set it back up there real quick. Just so I can line up these bolt holes. Actually, I think, yeah, I got it backwards. <laughs> I think I need to notch it right here just a little more. Oh, yeah, it dropped right in there. Perfect. Yep, weld all the way across there. That's going to be good. Actually, I think I just need a little bit more right there. That's a money winner. And let's just go ahead, knock this paint off of here. There we go. Yes, looking good. Looking real good, actually. <laughs> looking awesome, really. I think we're good. Let's set this motor back in here and see what we're going to do. Alright, that's lined up right there. I'm just going to go ahead and get a couple bolt holes or a couple bolts and we'll drop them in. See, I've got a couple over here in my sleeve. I'll show you guys here real quick. Engine plate dropped right in. Nice seam weld across there. That's going to be good. That'll be strong as all <laughs> it'll ever need. Yeah, weld that. Booger that in with some weld. Weld that in. Oh, that's going to be great, guys. And what I'm looking at, too... The chain is going to work perfect, and my sprocket is above my swing arm, so I don't have to worry about the swing arm getting into the chain. I think we're going to be good. Let me just go ahead and stretch this across the bottom right here, too, just to double check. Okay, there we go. You know what, that might actually be a bit too high. Because I still think I can see that. Let me go ahead and wrap this around here. There we go. Okay, yeah, I think that might just be a bit too high. What I can do, I can adjust my plate here to bring it down. Let me see if, that, if I can do this real quick. Show you guys here.
we're going to go to the next one right here. So now we're going to go with the middle bolt hole all the way around. Actually, it looks like that might even be too low there. Let's see if I can get this lined up here. Okay, yeah, we're hitting the dipstick on the back there, so I can't go down too much further. It's real close. And actually, needs to be about right there. Right almost even with the swing arm. We may just have to go with this spot for now. And actually it'll be fine because I can move the... I think what I need to do is I need to move the plate down just a little bit in the back. And be good. Just not make those notches bigger back there. Because I still can. Still got some room back there so we're good. Get these bolts back in here. There we go. All right. See, I think what I need to do is just drop the back of that plate down just a little bit, and we'll be good. Get this chain back over here. Now we'll slide the motor out. In and out, in and out. That's the fun part of the build game. <laughs> Figure it out. All right. So yeah, it looks like we can still come down the back here. We should notch that a bit more so we can come on down. That battery's going dead too, but I think we got it. Oh yeah, that dropped it down quite a bit actually. It looks like, oh that one's holding it up too. I need to cut this off. That little tab right there is holding me up. The piece I didn't cut off. <laughs> Let me get my other battery. Hopefully it's got a little juice in it. There we go. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, now we're in there. Oh yeah, now it's sitting level too. That was a problem, it was holding it up back here. Okay, now we're gooder. Drop this baby back in, so then we can get our bolt line back up. All right, all right. There we go. Everything's fitting tight. That must that means it's almost home. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're good. That looks real good actually. Now let's check that chain down here. Oh yeah, now we got room on the bottom of the swing arm. Yes. Yeah, so when that goes tight, yeah, it's not gonna hit. Sweet. Okay, good.
that's real good everything clears if you guys see that's see I have room down there now when that goes back that'll be good yeah nice weld all the way across there Whoop. nice weld all the way across back here yeah that's gonna be butterific come over here oh yeah looking good okay let's get this welder fired up and put some heat on it okay got me a charged helmet <laughs> had to go through a couple of them and haven't put a weld helmet on in a bit all right we're good we're good using the mig today no crazy bit no craziness no tig no funny business going old school mig that we're up on two wires good let's burn it in <laughs> move that first anything else that might catch on fire because <laughs> if it can it will See if we can tune you guys in for a little better shot. If you've ever been lost out yonder, out where the black top ends on a back road, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah. If you've ever been buzzed on a drop tailgate with the glue of a bonfire burning, can I get a name? Hell yeah. If you've ever had a. Yeah, yeah. Looking good, looking real good. I had a wire wheel, but I can't find it, so let's just use this real quick. Knock this flux off. Oh yeah, that's that looks real good. Yeah, that's that's a good weld. That's gonna stay. Yep, that too. Awesome. Put one more little bead across there, one more back here, we're gonna be good. Gotta stop every couple minutes too and let the welder cool down. Not the welder, the machine. It's gotta cool down just a little bit. Yep, looking good. Looking real good. Good enough. Wonder what I do with my wire brush. It was a hot rod driving by outside. Use a little bit of this scotch break. Oh yeah, looking real good. Get some of that slag off of there. I think we now have a motor plate that's going to clear all our goodies. Let me get one more little weld over here in this corner and we're going to be good. Yeah. Looking good. I could probably put a little more right there. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And go one back in. Yep, we're good to go. Good, good. Get my helmet off here. Let's 
string and wrap it back around. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah. Look at all the room we still have left. All the way around it. And that was the biggie is having that little bit of room right there for that CVT. We got plenty. Even so I can still slide it back. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Super duper awesome. Okay. Looking great, guys. Motor plate's in. CVT is on. Good to go. And up here is the rest of the CVT. This is the belt drive and the clutches. So that'll all get slid together once we get the motor back in for the last time. And I'm looking to, I just, I just remembered I need to say something. Let me go ahead and shut this fan off. I'm looking for a different crankshaft too, because they had some of the eight horsepowers had a three-quarter crank. This is a one-inch crank with a keyway and a taper. So I really just need the three-quarter. Right there, I need the three-quarter keyway shaft. See the keyway? Keyway back here. Dropping my goodies. <laughs> Don't lose your goodies, Ben. That all has to get lined up once we get the backing plate all together. So, you see the keyway needs to be able to slide in. And if I had a Harbor Freight 212, it would slide in. That would bolt right on, no problem. And the engine would bolt up and be totally good. So, yeah, we're good there. And also, too, see it got me a kickstand. That's good. I think the foot control is going to go right there. So, we're good. Once I get my CVT on, let me just go ahead and show you guys this. This is the cover that'll go on here like that and I'll trim it so it fits on back here but you can see that's gonna be good I have plenty of room for the foot control room for the kickstand oh it's gonna be great guys awesome just got to trim this to fit around the chain and the frame in the back and we're gonna be good and this is it here it's a this one is a Viver. It's a Viver 30 series clutch. Tab 230. All the goodies there. So, yeah. Oh, and I found these too. Digging through my goodies. Some Mulholland really badass shocks. <laughs> I think those are going on Mr. Dagwood outside. Because his rusty shocks, I kind of forgot I even had those. So yeah, we're gonna use those. <laughs> They're going on. But yeah, guys, looking great over here. Plates welded. I'm gonna let all that cool down, get it all painted. So I think we're good to go. That I can just go ahead and paint that and be good. Other little changes we can do, no big deal. Awesome, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Way more to come from Job's Honda Town, Scooter Town, Triumph City. <laughs> Let's ride, guys. Yes.